welcome to the Industry Angel Podcast. We hear from the best business minds across the globe, entrepreneurs, social influencers, marketing mavens, and sales rock stars. We've got them all. Here comes your weekly dose of inspiration with your host, Ian Farah. So today, I'm here with Will Kentish. And where are we, Will? We are here in Coventry at the Doubletree Hilton Hotel at the PSA Annual Convention. I'm glad you said that because that was a mouthful and you did it so much better than me. So, Will, we've just had lunch together. We and have. when you were talking, there was some value bombs coming out, right? Okay, lots of gold. And I was like, we need to capture this. Okay, so we've invited you out here. We've just opened the fire exits for outside. And I want you to tell us all about networking, my friend. Okay, and so my name is Will, Will Kintish, and that's the way I want you to introduce yourselves because most people aren't listening for your name. So if you always use the reverse James Bond, as we call it, Will, Will Kintish, people might just hear your name. So for the last 19 years, I show people how to become effective and competent networkers. And your listeners, I'm not going to like this, Ian, because I'm the world's greatest con man. Shall I tell you why? Because networking, whether I exist in or not, we do it every day of our lives. Networking is just talking to each other. Yeah. So I've been earning a living teaching people how to talk to each other for 19 years. Now, isn't that a bit of a con? So it's the word. The word networking scares people. Yeah, yeah, yeah it certainly does. And the three main fears that people have is... Number one is fear of the unknown. Walking into that room, not knowing anybody, not knowing the format, not knowing their surroundings. And a big tip I give to all my audiences, when you walk in the room, number one, give yourself a good talking to, saying, I'm a nice person. I have as much right to be in this room. I'm going to have a lot of fun. And then what I want you to do is, go. if you don't know anybody, go and get yourself a drink and stand back and observe. Because every room you've ever been in, whoever I'm talking to today, every room you've ever been in, and every room you're ever going to go into for the rest of your lives, is always formatted in exactly the same way. You'll only ever see six groups of people. You'll get the individual, you'll get couples who stand in a V-shape, they're called the open two, or you'll get trios who stand in an open format, a bit like a croissant. Those three groups, their body language is saying, come and join us. Okay. There are three other groups, I call them the red groups, so you'll get couples who stand facing each other, called the closed two. Mm -hmm. You'll get trios who stand in a triangle, that's called the closed three. Or you'll get circles or squares, that is called the four or more, the red groups. And their body language is saying, don't come and join us. Okay. So the message is, when you walk in the room, observe the room, analyze the room, and try and go, no, don't try. Always go to the green groups. And a warning, get there early. Because the later you get there, the more the groups will be formed mm. and the more difficult it will be to get into a group. I'm going to ask you a crazy question. Is there an amber group then? Is there an amber group? You've got red and green. To That's stop a and great. Go. Nobody's ever <laughs> asked me that, Ian. Um, I'll tell you, the best group to go to, yeah. the best group to go to is a red group mm-hmm. if there's somebody in there you know. Because oh, really? if you know somebody in there, you sidle up to them and say, mm-hmm. Ian, can I join you? And Ian, being the gentleman he is, say, yeah, come in, Will. And then he introduces you to all those people. Ah, right, okay. That's the best group. So listen then, you've, 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 you've came to a green group. Yes. You don't know anybody. What do we do? How do we introduce ourselves? What's the first thing okay. we say? The most important thing is we have eye contact with all of them. We make sure we look at each of them. Mm-hmm. We simply look at them. They nearly always, 999 times out of a thousand, will stop talking. Okay. And you simply say, hi, everyone, please may I join you? I hope you don't think I'm being rude. Mm-hmm. And they will always welcome you in, okay. and off it goes. That was so British of you, Will. What, please may I join yes. you? Yes. <laughs> well, if you're going up to the individual, the individual against the wall mm-hmm. is standing there, mm-hmm. A, because they don't know anybody, mm-hmm. and B, they're nervous. And yeah. do you know what they're doing in against that wall? They're actually praying. They're praying for somebody to come and talk to them. Right, okay. So again, it's the same thing. Yes. You go up to them, eye contact, smile, handshake, and you simply mm-hmm. say, hello there, may I introduce myself? Mm-hmm. My name's Will, and you'll say, my name's Ian. And I'll mm-hmm. say, hi, Ian, nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. So where have you come from today? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. off we go. Okay. 
So fear number two is fear of rejection. Will anyone talk to me? Okay. Well, networking's about being proactive. I don't care if anyone talks to you. Your job is to go and talk to them. Right. That's the big thing. But number three, fear of wasting time. Mm -hmm. The one thing we're all short of, the one thing that we can never replace in our lives is time. So for goodness sake, when you go to a business event, don't spend the whole time with your mates or your colleagues from work. By all means, catch up with your mates, mm -hmm. but then move on, leave them, and go and find new people to join. Yeah. I mean, at this conference today, I just know there's going to be loads of people who don't know anybody. And at the coffee breaks and lunch, they're going to be standing on the phones because they don't know what to do. Yes, well, yes. what I'm going to do with those people, I'm going to play host. I'm going to go up to them mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, hello there, can I introduce myself? And I am the answer to their prayers. <laughs> I love that. Well, you are, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. And um, here at the PSA, the Professional Speaking Association, everybody is in giving mood. Everybody wants to help everybody. Everybody's nice. Yes. So it's so important that you make the most of the weekend. Yeah. But I learn more, and I think you said it to me earlier, we learn more at lunch, at coffee, mm. dinner tonight, mm. than we do from the speakers yeah. sometimes. You know that introduction that we first had, and you might have been in this room because it was two workshops. One was on global speaking yes. and the other one was sort of like for the, people, <laughs> for the new people for the new people that first come to the convention that was the exact thing that, that, that was said you know you've got to get out there and, and meet people and be open and share and if you see somebody on their own go and bring them in and that and, and that seems to be the, the kind of message and the key to the very very friendly and do you know why that is Ian because I taught them that 20 years right, ago okay, when I yeah, first yeah. came here I love that yeah so uh yeah. I mean, to me, whether you go to a business event or a social mm. event, just yeah. treat them all as a party. Yes. The only difference is, if it's a business event, is the amount of alcohol you consume. Because <laughs> getting drunk at a business event is really not the best thing in the world. Right, so okay. that's the only difference. So my whole life is a party. Mm. Network, I go to the opening of an envelope, me. I'll go to yeah. the opening of anything. Okay. Because everybody is somebody's somebody. You just never know who you're going to meet. Mm. So you, it, 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 I'd quickly jump in there. So in terms of meeting somebody then, do you ask for business cards? Do you connect on LinkedIn? Because we've just done that there. What, okay. How do you, how do business you... cards. I get yeah. a conversation going first. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with business cards later. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. a bit of a green. If you give me your business card and mm -hmm. there's nothing to follow up, I'll probably just throw it in the bin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But So if I have a lovely conversation with you, I'll, I'll then say to you, Ian, shall we swap business yeah, cards? Yeah, 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 yeah. And if I'm going to follow you up, I'll look you in the. I look at the card. Yes. I'll look you in the eye. I say, Ian, yes. you know, we had a really great conversation about X. Yes. How about I give you a call, perhaps next Tuesday or Wednesday, mm -hmm. and let's continue this conversation I'll there. Do that, yeah. Because we go networking <clears throat> to create a platform to do business next week, next month, not on the day. Yeah. Too yeah. many people misunderstand networking. They get the mix of selling and networking totally wrong. It's not. Do you know, as I wrote a blog about business cards and with the spending some time in China, I, I recognise the importance of a business card. I, I, exactly right, Will's showing us his two hands there. It, you know, I, I looking them in the eye and actually reading the card as well and, and actually reaffirming and saying back to them, all oh, right, okay, so Will, you're a, a, a network presentation expert, speaker, whatever. Um, so, so important. But, you know, sometimes you give people a card and they just top pocket, they haven't even looked at it. Worse than that, you know, you know what they do? Some of them start wiping the bum with it, start putting it in their back pocket. And I think, that's my card, mate. And you started wiping your bum on it. I think, how rude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, I always have, have to sort of say it back to them as well. But what I do see is, makes you feel so cheap. People are dishing out cards en masse and you're looking over, the, over them thinking, they've just done that to me as well. En masse networking. So, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible. So do if you, I come away from mm -hmm. this convention with three or four or five cards, yeah. that'll be it. But yes. each of them, there will be a reason to have got their card. Indeed, yes. Because I'm going to follow them. I'm going to yeah. send them something. You yeah. see, the first principle, Ian, of networking, of relationship building, mm -hmm. is to be kind, okay. to be generous. Yes. So I've just spent an hour with Carol, who I've known for many years. She needed to learn how to put subtitles on her videos. All right, okay. So I spent half an hour showing how Brilliant. to do it. Good man. And then I sent her a copy of my contract that mm -hmm. I use for my clients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I feel good about that, and she'll get something out of it. Yeah. And that's what it's all about, particularly at this group today, in the next few days. Everybody wants to share. Yeah, I've noticed that already. Mm. Can I ask you one question about networking in, in terms of what you wear? Is that a thing? Oh, I think it's really important okay. because 
before we open our mouths, mm -hmm. people judge us on the way we look. Yes, uh huh. So what I say to my audiences, for goodness sake, when you get up in the morning, think who you're going to meet mm -hmm. and how do you want to impress them? Mm -hmm. Because if you turn up looking really scruffy, mm -hmm. people will decide, I'm not sure I like this person. Mm -hmm. So don't believe a word he says <laughs> under any circumstances. This is Roger. He does this all the time. This is Just Roger. Just nod and, you know, it's the dementia <laughs> setting in. Unfortunately, our viewers can't see this, Ian. Our listeners, But this yes, is Roger. Sir. This is Roger Harris. He's got a Bobby Dazzler shirt on. Exactly. We've just been talking about We're what to wear. We're just talking about Look at wearing this. shirts. Now, that makes a statement. I don't remember shirt. Bobby Dazzler, you see. That's the oh, difference really? between him and I. That's a killer no, no. shirt. You see, I'm 71 and he's about 43. <laughs> he's just had a very, well very spotted. hard life. <laughs> a really hard hard life. So you hit Roger's website is <laughs> rogerharrop.com. Next of course, question. Of course it is. Well, do you know what it is? We came in just at the right point because I was saying when you're networking, is it important? Has that got brandy in? It hasn't got brandy it in. It's, 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 plus, it's too it? early. It's well, only 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. These youngsters today <laughs> will. I mean, just, I was just talking about whiskey alcohol. one side and brandy the other, look, I can tell. I was talking about, I said, when you go to a business event, you do not drink or get drunk. Absolutely. And what you've spotted is he's broken number one rule. Already. <laughs> because he's already got his and brandy And he's pass. got it there for everyone to see. Absolutely. I just don't care, it's on blatant show. Oh, it's typical. So tell me about the shirt, then we'll talk about networking, okay? I, what I'm, I said was, is it important to stand out, you know, how do you, and look at that. I'm the MC this morning, so right, that's okay. one reason I'm wearing this. Between us. Yeah. I was... Incredibly honoured mm -hmm. to be asked to MC yeah. because this should have been um, our president, Joy Marshall, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she died. Yes. Right? Yeah. And she's a very good friend of mine, and yeah. they asked me to do this and okay. to try and set the scene for the next three days. Yeah. And, you know, hearts just seemed highly appropriate Fantastic. to me. Fantastic, so yeah, that's and what so it's all bright about. as well. Yeah. So good man. So, answering the question. And the socks. Oh, my word. Do you know what it is? I've got some socks for you in my bag. I am serious. <laughs> I am serious, I've got some good socks for you. <laughs> Actually, they might be tights, you don't know, do you? I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'll dish them up now. Not only has he got tights Not only has he got tights on Ian, he's actually <laughs> holding them up with suspenders. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, that's well, I'm hoping all his audience are <laughs> here. <laughs> Rogerharrop.com. <laughs> that's very kind. So in terms, you. uh, you're more than welcome. So in you. terms of standing out in the crowd, my podcast, so we actually got some socks made. Yeah. And I've dished out about three hundred pairs of these socks, and it's memorable for people because it's something for that remember, sure. and it's good. That's it's better than business card, isn't it? Your podcast, give me a shout. Thank, Thank you so much, Roger. So yes, there you go. There's a prime example of standing out in the crowd, isn't it? And wearing standing something out that, from that, the that, crowd. Yeah, yeah. And the first principle of networking is to be kind. So what did you give? You gave your socks away. Yeah. You've raised your profile. They wear your socks. People will say, "Where do you get those from?" <laughs> yeah. And so that was a perfect example of networking. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff, and obviously he's the MC, so he's going to have a great three days he's with us. He's going to have a great three days. Good stuff. Well, Will, anything else to say? Or you... Well, I'd like people to uh, mm -hmm. go to my website. Go for it. www.kintish.co.uk or go to my YouTube channel where there's loads of free videos. Good, man. Well, you can hear we're just getting warmed up we there. We are. We're raring to so go. So we'll leave it there, Will. Thanks okay. so much. Thank you Good very stuff. much, Ian. Thanks for inviting me.